So, our first expert today is Samuel Muema from Agrifor. He's here on behalf of the Eco Business Fund, and we've invited him to help Moraithi with his avocados. If farmers want a big avocado harvest, then making sure the trees get the right nutrition throughout their life is very important. First, let's check some young trees around a year old. The major problem with, with the avocados, mm -hmm. they were not growing properly. Okay. Because some were growing, others were, was, were stunted, mm -hmm. and some dried. Some dried. So I was wondering why. Like this particular one, yes. it's an avocado tree. How long has it been here? Been mm. Around 10 months. 10 yes. months. That's mm. almost a year, short of two months. Yeah. And you also say that you've never done a soil test. I've never done. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Samuel, yes. Buona Moraithi wants to be an avocado farmer. I'm a beginner. Mm. Yes. This is the first time I've never planted any avocados. I Before? Yeah. Your land is good, generally, for avocado farming. Mm -hmm. But it's, the soils are a bit clay. They need to be a bit well drained. Mm. Mm. The biggest issue was the soil and the nutrition management mm -hmm. whereby you did not do a soil test which is the first thing you should have done sure. okay. so the biggest element for your orchard is to plan it well okay now the second stage of planning is spacing there are a variety of different plants around the avocados is this a good idea do they help the avocado or are they taking away nutrients mm -hmm. it depends with the 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 crops that you've plant along with the right. avocado. Mm -hmm. The skooma are heavy feeders. The chaos are heavy feeders mm. for nitrogen, so you might uh, really lose. But the pepper, this pepper is good. When the, the fruit and the pepper fruit dries up, it uh, repels insects, mm -hmm. so it also helps. Which are the right crops or suitable crops to plant next to your avocado? For the first five years, you can plant cover crops. You can uh, do uh, legumes. Legumes, uh, legumes beans. like uh, pigeon peas, beans, mm -hmm. uh, because they also fix nitrogen. You can also do uh, livestock fodder crops like desmodium, mm -hmm. mainly because they, it's also a good cover crop. Mm -hmm. the and grasses. also it's also complementing your other farm activities. Mm -hmm. um, you can still plant avocado alongside other tree species. Like I see our farmer has planted the tree tomato, mm -hmm. which has a different growth habit compared to avocado okay. because it shrub doesn't grow tall mm -hmm. still is able to get some fruits mm -hmm. but you can still do other trees like mangoes like papayas and of course if you have gotten your spacing right so that at least off season you are able to still get income from the other trees mm -hmm. yes now let's take a look at a mature tree this tree is around five years old and fruiting how can we boost next season's harvest for this tree Yes. How old is this one? Around this five years. Five years. Yes, yes. So even after fruiting and then harvesting, what do you normally do to your tree? What I'm already in just the way you planted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just the way you planted, you anything. leave it like that. I so I have never any, done anything. Done anything. So that's how he's been managing. Is that right, really? Despite the fact that the phosphorus content in your soil is very high, you still need to substitute because when you are harvesting, you're actually taking off nutrients with the fruits of the harvest mm -hmm. because they, for them to form they require a lot of nutrition it's energy consuming and one of the elements that is uh, depleted in high amounts is phosphorus and the nitrogen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and therefore what you do yeah. just after harvesting get some well decomposed uh, manure you can see the canopy of the tree where it is rich. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, exactly at the edge of the canopy, mm -hmm. you dig a trench of about um, 25 to 30 centimeters deep. Mm -hmm. The reason why you do it at the canopy is because the assumption is that the roots are up to the, where the canopy is. Mm -hmm. Then you apply about uh, 50 kilograms of uh, well decomposed manure. 50 kgs per tree? Yes. Then you cover. So that when the rains rain, Okay. So they will start uh, taking the nutrients. Oh, yeah. And your tree will gi give you a better yield than how it was giving you. So good management starts right from when they are young yes. up to this point. Yes. Wanamoreidi? Yes. Do you think this is something you still want to venture into? Very much. Very much? And I think I've acquired what I really needed. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And so I'm the, very happy. The market demand for avocado is so high. And the exporters will look for you if you have a well-managed orchard mm -hmm. and also it's food, you are still able to supply the local market for food. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm.